good to you. You ought to give him some praise. We're going a little bit higher. We're going a little bit higher. Come on, God. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Open up your mouth. Come on, give him some praise. Come on, give him some praise. Come on, give God some praise. Hey, glory. 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 First glory. Turn me up the first glory. The first Come on, come on, come on. God is an awesome God and worthy to be praised. You ought to open up your mouth and tell God thank you because he kept you all week long. Some of us should have been dead and gone, but God, grace and mercy kept on covering us. He dispatched this angel. They kept on worrying for us. Come on, give God some praise in this house. I love the Lord. I don't know about you, but I love the Lord. Oh, glory. Ooh. I said he's an awesome God. I said he's an awesome God. But he's worthy. Oh, I feel something in this house. I said he's worthy. I'm trying to move on, but I feel something right now. God is worthy. God is worthy. God is worthy. Somebody come on, give God some praise. Hey, she get out of Sunday. He get out of old sheep. He came out Sunday. Not out of old sheep. High glory. Oh God, He been good to me. He been good to me. I said He been good to me. Better than I've been to myself. He keep on keeping me. He keep on blessing me. He keep on feeling me. He keep on loving me. He keep on providing for me. He keep on protecting me. I said, God is good. God is good. God is good. Somebody give him some praise in this house. Hey, glory. 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 Who glory. Ah, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, glory. Hey, she can't in the most Sunday. I feel the presence of the Lord in this house. Hey. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together for the Lord. I ain't going to be long tonight, but God is good. Hey. Thank you, Lord. We'd like to thank the people on BibleBelt.com for joining in with us live on the internet all around the world. Come on, people, put your hands together and thank God for the folks that joined us on BibleBro.com. We welcome you to True Word Holiness, House of Prayer and Healing. We thank God for you. We are praying for you. We pray that something will be said that will bring you out of your situation. But I want you to know one thing. When you shout your way out, God will come down and deliver you. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Yeah. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. God will come down and deliver you. Somebody give God some glory. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey. I'll take 30 seconds to give praise. Come on. Come on, get it. Come on, get it. Praise the God. Blessings come down. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. He never said he wouldn't flood out your city. He never said he wouldn't flood out your state. See, see, you got to understand, God said, I'll put a rainbow in the sky to remind myself of the covenant that I have made with man. And every time you see a city flooding out, you can see a rainbow in the sky. God never destroyed the world again with a great flood, but he'll flood out your city. I said all that to get us to this point of my text. See, King Jehoshaphat was living good. King Jehoshaphat was having royal parties and bank 
backwards. They was doing business as usual. They had it going on in Jerusalem and in Judea. They was doing everything that they wanted to do. The people was taking care of their children. They was farming their land. They was handling their cattle. They was taking care of business as usual. Hanging out, having a good time, no doubt. Going to the tabernacle on a Sabbath day, on a Saturday, giving praise and worship to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. They was taking care of business as usual. But then all of a sudden, Jehoshaphat gets some news, some disturbing news that the enemy had come together. The to enemy really is because the church needs to know who her enemy is. The church enemy, listen to me, the church enemy is a spirit of dishonesty, disorderly, disrespectful, division, divorce, drug abuse, gossip, greed, horoscope, homosexuality, lesbianism, love of money, murder, molestation, prostitution, pornography, speak Holy Spirit, false God, atheism, astrology, Buddhism, Hinduism, Jainism, Confucianism, Shintoism, Taoism, Muslim, Scientology, New Age Movement, Jehovah Witness, bad leaders in the church and out of the church, president, Republican, Democrat, Independent, judges, governors, and mayors, passing laws that is against the word of God, same-sex marriage, taking prayer out of school. Now they're saying we can't pray at our children ball game. They don't want us to talk about Jesus on the job, but they'll let you talk about religion. But you can't talk about Jesus Christ and the gospel. The church needs to know who her enemy is. They took the Ten Commandments out of the courthouse of America. By messing up the economy, they put thousands of people out of work, causing them to lose their home, cars, etc. The Bible says in John 10 and 10, the thief come to kill, steal, and destroy.